Welcome to the Explanation Pro. Today I'm going to explain the a horror thriller movie, Title Bodies. At the beginning of the movie, we see two brothers named Corey and Jeffrey who are paramedics. They work in a hospital where they have attached a radio tracker which helps them to know if anyone is injured or anything. By this time they hear a girl is injured and she cuts her hand. In no time they reach at her place with their ambulance. They get the girl in their ambulance so that they can take her with her. In the ambulance they all have some little chat about random stuff and in the meantime one of the brother gives the girl some medicine to make her unconscious and they take her to their hospital. Then comes the horrific part, we see that Corey and Jeffrey has cut out her stomach and take out her organs to sell them and eventually they do so. This is the part where it reveals that the two brothers are not paramedics whereas they are organ dealers, they take innocent and injured people to their hospital and give them medicines to lose their senses and then they cut their organs off and sell them for huge amounts. After this Jeffrey takes that girl's phone whom they have just killed and uploads a Facebook post from her phone saying that she will be out of town for some days, so that no one comes and find the girl. Corey comes by and tells his brother to try some new idea as they are using this same excuse for days. Corey and Jeffrey are involved in this crime for like 3 weeks and they earn a lot of money. The brothers by then gets emotional by talking about their life and Corey assures Jeffrey that he loves him and will never leave him ever. Next day, there are some girls who are walking in the woods, and by then a girl named Sandy hits her ankle in a rock and fell and broke her leg. Her friends calls the ambulance and by the evening Corey and Jeffrey come to take Sandy to the hospital. Corey tells Sandy that her friends can't come with them as they will allow the patient only so she has to come alone. She immediately agrees to that. They are on the way to the hospital and Jeffrey does the same thing again. He makes Sandy unconscious and starts caressing her as if he knows her. They take her to the hospital and they are about to start the operation, but we see, Corey for the first time is feeling nervous and he is not able to do his work. By seeing some tension in his brother's eyes Jeffrey tells Corey that they will do the work later and Corey hearing that leaves the room. We see Jeffrey again starts caressing Sandy and he is looking at her innocent face. After some time Sandy wakes up and she realizes that she is in an operation theater. She looks up at the camera and asks the brothers to let her go, but she doesn't know what's waiting for her. Sandy found some clothes on the floor and she wears them. She sits on the floor and starts crying because she realizes something is wrong and she is in pain and moreover she is sacred. Next day Corey brings food for Sandy but she doesn't want to eat and throws all it away. This made Corey angry and he tries to force Sandy and rape her. But Sandy in defense kicks Corey in his face. Corey gets angry and threatens Sandy that she will have to pay for this and leaves the room. At night when Sandy is sleeping Corey comes to her and forcefully rapes her which causes Sandy so much pain. Next day when Jeffrey tries to clean all the blood from Sandy's body, she gets her senses back and she kicks Jeffrey away because she gets scared. Sandy is scared and angry and by seeing Jeffrey there she asks him that is he going to do the same with her just like her brother did to her. Is he going to rape her? By listening to this Jeffrey says that he came to give Sandy food and nothing else, Sandy asks Jeffrey to leave the room and starts eating. She is hungry. Corey is watching all this in the CCTV and laughs as he enjoys everything. Next day Jeffrey and Corey comes to Sandy's room and tells her that they have come to treat her broken leg. Sandy doesn't listen him, she wants to leave. Corey tells her that if she doesn't listen to them then she will be killed. This makes Sandy scare even more she agrees to what they are saying. Corey comes in with a medicated shoe and tells her that it will help her with her feet. He tries to make her wear that and by doing that he breaks her leg by pressing her leg in the railing of the bed. She suffers and cries in pain and Corey tells her if she wants the medicine, that will cure her leg and ease her pain, then she have to listen to him. Sandy agrees, and he give her the medicine which makes her unconscious, and then he rapes her again. After some time Sandy got her senses back. The poor girl asks Corey for how long she has to stay here and they will torture her. Corey replies that she will stay here as long as he wants and he will do whatever he wants. Sandy begs Corey that he can do whatever he want but for the next time he should not make her unconscious, she doesn't like to lose her senses. Corey agrees to that. Jeffrey on the other hand comes to their room, and takes a photo in his hand where there is Jeffrey, Corey and there is a girl in between them who looks just like Sandy. Corey sees that Jeffrey is crying and consoles him. He tells him that he should not think about this again and he himself gets emotional. Next day Corey brings food for Sandy and she asks him for how long they will keep her here and Corey replies that for how long he wants, they will keep her and then they will kill her. Sandy tells Corey that by doing all this he has become a psycho, he doesn't care about others' life. He is playing with people's life. Corey replies that he is not a psycho, he is a devil, and he do all this to save other people's lives as these organs help other people to live. Corey is about to leave when Sandy asks him that he will rape her again or not and Corey replies that he is not interested today and leaves when Sandy is changing her clothes Jeffrey came in with her breakfast and sees her naked and turns around. Sandy tells him to not turn his head around and comes near him. She touches him and tries to seduce him while licking chocolate out of her finger. Jeffrey likes that but when Sandy touches Jeffrey in his private part, he gets nervous and runs away. 
Corey sees all this in the CCTV camera. And he realizes that Sandy is coming close to Jeffrey so that she can use him and gets out of there. But he wants to know whom his brother chooses after all, Sandy or Corey. At night Corey rapes Sandy again and she starts to bleed. Next morning when Jeffrey comes to help her to clean the blood Sandy refuses and says she can do it all by herself. Sandy again tries to seduce Jeffrey and make him touch her and kisses him. Jeffrey doesn't like that and runs out of the room. Corey sees all this in the camera and thinks Hat Sandy is doing anything to get Jeffrey in her side and this makes him astonish. Sandy comes near the camera and she starts saying that she knows Corey can see everything and she further tells him that she can also do anything she wants. Jeffrey comes to his room and realizes that he loves her and next day he prepares very tasty meal for Sandy. Seeing this Corey becomes mad and tells Jeffrey that he will go to Sandy and will ask her some random questions so that he can operate her and sell her organs later. Jeffrey can't say anything because he is his brother and without him he has no one. Corey asks Sandy some questions which she totally ignores. Corey threatens her that if she doesn't answer him correctly he will break her other leg. Sandy answers all his question and she starts insulting Corey and he out of anger goes straight to Sandy and tells her he will do something bad to her. Sandy tries to kiss Corey and by this action Corey feels disgusted and leaves the room immediately. Jeffrey comes to Sandy's room afterwards and she asks him to lie down with her. Sandy then tells Jeffrey that he is a nice guy who takes care of her and feeds her. He has all that quality that a girl wants in a man. She kisses him and they get intimate after that. Corey watches all this in the camera and he is sure now Jeffrey is in love and he is in her side. Sandy confronts Jeffrey why they have kept her alive till now. Jeffrey shows her the photo that he was looking at that day and tells her that the girl in the photo was their sister. Their parents left them when they were young and the three of them were together since then. Their sister was very close to them. They all used to sleep together and they were very close. When Corey was in college he started bringing girls to their place which made their sister very jealous and eventually she became very sick and died. Jeffrey still blames Corey for his sister's death and further says that he was sure Corey would leave him and in his sister after some years. Sandy realizes that she looks just like her sister that's why she is still alive. When Jeffrey goes out of the room Corey tries to make him understand that Sandy is using him and she is not in love with him. This makes Jeffrey so angry he starts yelling at his brother and starts hitting himself. Corey tries to console him and again tries to make him understand that he loves him more than anyone. At night Sandy and Jeffrey are lying together, they get intimate again and Sandy tells Jeffrey that he is better than his brother and more handsome than him which every girl wants. By complimenting him Sandy suggests Jeffrey that they should run away far from his brother Corey. So that he can't find them. Corey watches all this and he realizes that his brother will betray him any time and will choose Sandy over him. Corey next day takes his brother to some place and they comes back with another guy to cut his organs and sell them. Corey ties Sandy's hand and hangs her up and tells her that she will watch a live show. Sandy starts crying and requests them not to do anything like that but no one listens. They start doing the surgery in front of her while the guy is alive. Sandy is shocked and she is in pain, she can't believe what she saw. For the first time she saw a guy die in front of her like that. Corey unties her and tells her she has messed with the wrong guy and now he will make her watch all this every day. Next day Corey sends Jeffrey to the market to bring something for Sandy and in the meantime he comes to her and threatens her that he will destroy her body and her face which she is using to manipulate Jeffrey. He tells Sandy more that he had poisoned his sister back then and killed her as she knew Corey was about to leave her and Jeffrey. She didn't die just because of illness. Sandy is shocked and then realizes that Corey has tricked her and the room is filled with some gas which is making her unconscious. She lost her sense and Corey by then stitches her lips in her private area so that she can't use it manipulate his brother. Jeffrey comes and sees what his brother has done and starts yelling and they starts arguing and in that hit moment Jeffrey starts hitting Corey and bangs his head in the floor. Sandy is awake by now and she sees the brothers are fighting, she takes the cylinder beside her and hits Jeffrey with that. Sandy doesn't take any chance and escapes and runs her, her life. Corey consoles Jeffrey and Jeffrey is lying in Corey's lap. He consoles him and says that the girl was tricking him from the beginning. Now after one year we see Jeffrey and Corey are still doing their work and all of a sudden they gets a call from a girl who is injured in the woods. They go there and gets attacked by the girl. Corey realizes that this is no one but Sandy and her friends. Sandy brings Corey and Jeffrey to that same hospital and ties Jeffrey's hand and hangs him up and makes Corey to lie down on the operation bed. Corey requests Sandy that she should leave Jeffrey out of this as it was all his mistake. But she doesn't listen and threatens Corey that she will now cut Jeffrey and will take out his organs in front of his brother. She comes close to Jeffrey. He confronts her that she was in love with him then why she is doing all this. Sandy tells the truth that she never loved him at all. By this time a guy comes to the hospital to collect organs. He is a delivery guy. He offers Sandy if she does the same job he will give her plenty of money. Sandy agrees to this and asks the guy to wait outside for 5 minutes and she goes inside. 
And the story ends here with a conclusion that now Sandy herself will do the same horrific job that was earlier done by Jeffrey and Corey. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. Stay well, stay healthy. See you in the next video.